another video by me Mally and Mally photographer and well the loosening of lockdown means I can actually do this now and as you can see there is no one today I've come for a specific reason which was to get a minimalist shot of some tree branches coming out of the water I'll show you Now this is, this is a throw your cap down and see if it works. I've had my eye on it every time, like I said, on my exercise route, I've walked past. I've already had a couple of shots here that I'm really pleased with, um, with the reflections. So this old pond, stagnant pond, many, many years ago, when Johnny Hurst, the farmer that owned this land, is no longer with us. See there, Johnny? He uh, used to grow potatoes on the field and one year he had a particularly bad harvest and uh, well back then dump skips European standards didn't exist so Johnny just got all these 10 ton of potatoes and dumped them in here and they all fermented the whole water just became opaque I wish I had pictures from back then as all the potatoes rotted, it killed it. It absolutely destroyed this uh, lovely piece of nature. But the amazing thing is, I'd say, well, I'm 46 and I'm looking back at, oh, 30 years ago. So when I've been about 14 to 16 when I used to come walking around here, it's back. There's ducks, there's wildlife, lots of birds and the trees are just fantastic look at this you can still see the remnants the dead stumps from where he put the potatoes in there's one over here so as you can see there's the odd few dead stumps coming up and trees but they're really interesting shapes this particular tree here, where it's branches are just coming out at you. Wonderful shapes. So we're gonna get a few shots, get set up. One for the minimalist shot with the dead stumps. And then I think I'll come round this part and get some at this side. Who wouldn't wanna be out in this? We're very lucky now to uh, have chances to get out like this. It was looking ominous for a spell. You've probably seen two of my videos already. One video from another woodland where I've met a certain kind of special tree, shall we say. You've already been introduced to her and her sister. And that is up closer to my house that it's up a place uh, where it's, it is an ancient woodland it dates back to the 1600s far too relaxed it's been such a long time since I've took a long exposure but we're getting really experimental we've got some beautiful shapes and shadows and reflections off these um, I'm pretty sure the beach little saplings that are shooting up and the um, old growth the stumps that I told you about earlier that died from the water getting polluted I've got new saplings growing out of them where they've either seeded or life's come back through the uh, the roots of the tree
and I've settled down with me. I thought, right, I'm looking around, looking at all these shapes and the light is he's, he's playing with me because it's illuminating certain areas so quickly and they're moving on, but the reflections are, are lovely. The abstract, but they're creating some leading lines and it's in the abstraction and then the log has so much detail in it with the moss it's it's a beautiful little composition i think but it's very abstract <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna round up on this one. I'm gonna head over and get some more little shots. Uh, I'll talk you through this a bit more. We've gone with a six stop. Um, I've pushed it up to f16 because of the light, just to give me that little uh, longer exposure. Because what we're getting is skating lines and little patterns from the leaves as they're moving in the water, and it's it's beautiful. Also, I think my kids are getting bored. <laughs> if you hear them chattering in the background, they're being very good actually. They've only had one bollock in today. <laughs> but right now they're climbing trees and picking leaves. That's what kids should be doing. They're loving it as well. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. So the light now is just falling onto the, the stump again. And I've changed the angle. I'm keeping it in the third. I'm quite tight. And uh, we've got these little little patterns, like I say, where the leaves are just moving and creating tracing lines and little details in the water. Been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And the light has finally dropped. Perfect. I've took a shot without a 10 stop on. Oh yeah, we've changed up. I want to get an even longer exposure now. This shot's probably so abstract that you'll think, why has he spent nearly an hour and a half focusing on a dead stump? <laughs> There's something very decorative about the shot with the dappling of the leaves, as I've said, giving you these sweeping leading lines. But uh, we're, we're going to move on now. It's an incredible, incredible place. Right. We'll take some more on the way back. We'll, we'll have a bit of a chat while the kids run about. As you can see, wonderful place. Look at this. It's a wild meadow. Now there is a shot here, when the light hits these leaves they kind of turn a silver and green and almost just liquid white, like a liquid reflective feel about them. I can see some pussy willow a bit further on, oh we do love a bit of pussy willow. Right, let's get back to the camera. So I hope you all been keeping well, keeping safe and uh, I'm quite happy to come and do this series of vlogs so I hope you are happy for me to come to these local places because I can't see myself going anywhere for some time. I bust my ankle as some of you might know, some of you might not. So we're go <laughs> uh, going to set up again here now, get this look at that light. I think just the a square crop of that or maybe a maybe even try a long 16 by 9 would look quite abstract I'm in a very abstracted mood you know what I'm like you know how I get you know when the excitement starts kicking in and I won't mind it's probably the most chilled area at universe right now this oh just a gentle breeze
beautiful green canopy above my head with just the most stunning light. <laughs> 